The second edition of the Canadians in Flight stamp series honors a groundbreaking Canadian pilot, a legendary bush plane, and three aviation and aeronautical innovators. The stories told by these stamps highlight the great skill and courage in the air or remarkable ingenuity on the ground. Violet Vi Milstead made history as one of Canada's first female bush pilots. Born and raised in Toronto, she signed up for Britain's Air Transport Auxiliary during the Second World War. The civilian organization ferried military aircraft between factories and frontline squadrons. Over 28 months, she logged more than 600 hours in 47 types of aircraft, including single-engine trainers and multi-engine bombers. Her favorite was the de Havilland Mosquito. Following the war, Milstead instructed at Barker Field. She later moved to Sudbury, where she flew as a bush pilot and taught as a flight instructor. A member of the Order of Canada, Milstead was inducted into Canada's Aviation Hall of Fame. Among other honors, she also received the Amelia Earhart Medal. The DHC-2 Beaver is considered the best bush plane ever built. Named one of Canada's top 10 engineering achievements of the 20th century, the all-metal plane needed little space to take off and land. This made it ideal for accessing and connecting remote Canadian regions and communities. It could be fitted with wheels, floats, or skis, and carry up to nine passengers or bulk cargo. The Beaver has been flown all over the world, from Africa to the Andes and the Arctic to the Antarctic. Many were also used in the Korean War by the United States military. Between 1947 and 1968, a total of 1,692 beavers were produced and delivered to 62 countries. The plane is still used in forestry patrol, aerial photography, crop dusting, and cargo delivery. Born in St. John, New Brunswick, Kenneth Patrick introduced flight simulator technology to Canada through CAE Incorporated, the company he founded in 1947. It was then known as Canadian Aviation Electronics Limited. CAE built its first flight simulator in the early 1950s for the Royal Canadian Air Force. It later designed a Canadarm simulator for NASA's space shuttle. By the early 1980s, the company had developed a simulator so realistic it was no longer necessary for all flight training to be completed on an actual aircraft. Today, air travel is the safest mode of transportation, in part because commercial pilots train in simulators, most of which are produced by CAE Incorporated. Fellow New Brunswicker W. Rupert Turnbull was a pioneering aeronautical engineer who built Canada's first wind tunnel in 1902. But his most notable achievement was the variable pitch propeller, a device that allowed pilots to adjust the pitch or angle of propeller blades in flight. This improved the aircraft's efficiency, since the propeller pitch best suited for takeoff or climbing differs from that needed for cruising at different altitudes. Patented in 1922, the device was successfully ground and flight tested at Camp Borden in Ontario. Patent rights were later sold to the Curtis Wright Corporation in the United States, which produced thousands of propellers based on Turnbull's design. Born in Weston, Ontario, Dr. Wilbur Rounding Franks developed the world's first anti-gravity suit used in combat during the Second World War. He was conducting cancer research at the University of Toronto in 1939, when he joined Dr. Frederick Banting's aviation medicine research team to study the risks associated with high-speed aerial maneuvers. Strong gravitation, g-forces, were causing pilots to lose consciousness. Having prevented test tubes from shattering in centrifuges by inserting them into larger tubes filled with water, 
Dr. Franks developed a rubber suit lined with water-filled pockets to counter the G-forces. The suit, which he himself tested, came to be known as the Franks Flying Suit. During operations in North Africa in 1942, the suit began saving lives. Today, the basic elements of Frank's design are still in use by Air Force pilots, cosmonauts, and astronauts around the world.